one of my rules of good writing is I believe that really good, when you're watching something with really good writing, you can do this test yourself, you can turn down the sound and still enjoy that. Hmm. Try it with some of your favorite movies. Turn down the sound and you'll be shocked. You'll go, wow, this is entertaining. <laughs> because good writing expresses conflict and behavior in a way that works visually as well as orally, you know? And so you're watching be the behavior of that writing. Good writing expresses conflict in a very dynamic way. Mm -hmm. Whereas you can always tell writing that's trying too hard because I call it intellectual writing, where it's, it's more out of the brain and not out of the heart. You know, what I mean by that is it seems very clever and there are clever lines and all these things, but it's not, it's not taking gymnastics of the heart. Like, I, I always feel, I've said this about authors and books, and someone told me about performing Shakespeare, where you have to be an athlete of the heart, you know? That's where good writing comes out of. Of course you need the gymnastics of the brain, but that has to be connected to the athletics of the heart, mm. <laughs> you know? You have to be pushing a character into corners. There has to be human conflict. Good story, to me, one of my definitions of story is the emotional journey that a character takes. It's the emotional journey. It's not the intellectual journey, it's the emotional journey. Mm. You know, without that, you do not have a story. Sorry, sorry soccer ball. <laughs> <laughs> and it has to be a human that is taking that emotional journey.